Hey Sabre fans, Darth Alice here again and I just wanted to show you a, a commission I just finished up from one of my repeat clients. This is one that is called the Bain Herlant or Irlant in French and it's one of the curve sabers that I've been building with the oval pipe and this one was the closest I could get to a true one-hander and also express that shape that you see with the classic vein with the claw and some of the details. On this one we demonstrate a new process here at Darth Alice's shop in that I've doubled the size of my work area, added a whole new heated section and now I have Mrs. Alice, my wife, applying both acid etching as you can see with this floral pattern on the size of the saber and on the emitter but she's also applying a new paint process called Cerakote which is a heat hardened heat dried ceramic based paint that you see a lot on a lot of high-end rifles and a lot of uh, higher-end automotive parts because it's extremely durable and it's extremely thin and there's a lot of cool effects that can be done with it in the way of aging and just creating a durable surface the whole inside of the emitter on this is also painted so it all matches. The screws, the hardware, everything has been painted to look like an antique bronze as you can see by the photos here or by the uh, video. Um, little copper claw thing for an extension and again I was just playing around with different shapes. I wanted ergonomics and something that's going to feel good in the hand so I created this pistol grip area too because I thought that looks kind of neat and it works. This saber is also a V6 model of my uh, normal Kodas in Katana series in that I place a switch section up nor near the top so it's a lot easier to activate. Uh, Rosewood kill key and then for the operating system I've got the first saber I built here with the help of uh, Nathan over at Wild Space Outpost but we've installed a Profi 2.2 operating system 4.8 I believe it says. I believe that's what we are told here. Yeah, 4.8. So, this was a whole new venture. I wired it like I normally do with heavy grade wiring, 22 gauge, custom Saber Shop front pins. But here, battery level indicator. Shot that, that was kind of neat. Well, let's back this up a little bit and see what I'm doing here. Plus, it's also running a 22 millimeter Sabre Essential speaker in here. It's good and loud. Now the fonts and the blade effects are all one that uh, Mason's added to this out of the library that's out there. Oh, of course, we got the rainbow blade. Not to have that.
one does handle very nicely with a blade. And this is about as stiff as this goes, I think, in parts here that Nathan installed on this thing. So there we go, Sabre fans. The first Sabre I've built with a Profi board system and with Cerakote. Thank you again for watching. This is Darth Allison. May the Force be with you always.